Hey, welcome back to the second bonus module here in the Infusionsoft 101 course. So in the last video, we talked about three critical campaigns that I think every Infusionsoft user on the planet uh, would benefit from. In this video, I want to cover two additional campaigns that are um, less less necessary, but also valuable in their own way. And the reason for, for spending time on these two campaigns is really not just the inherent value of this of these individual examples, but more to illustrate the sort of um, way you can think about and spot uh, automation or areas where automation could serve you. So uh, these are two that I do think can benefit a lot of different people, but more than that, I want you to sort of use this as a as a catalyst or as an inspiration to reevaluate areas of your business where automation may not seem like a natural fit at first, uh, but if you, you know, develop your automation muscle, you start to see opportunities where, where you can employ it and, and make things a little bit easier for yourself. So, um, the first campaign here that I think, uh, is worth taking a look at is a frequently asked questions campaign or an FAQ campaign. So here's what I mean. Uh, pretty much every business has, uh, questions that they answer on a regular basis. You might even have these on your website, uh, where somebody can go and click and read, uh, the answers to the most commonly asked questions. But even if they are on your website, I would wager that people probably still reach out to you or a member of your team and ask things, uh, like, you know, um, tell me about your pricing or, or what about this exception? Or do you integrate with this other tool? Or, um, is this thing covered, right? They probably have a set of questions that you have grown accustomed to answering on repeat, right? And if you are anything like me or like most business owners, I know you probably go, when you get that question, you're like, Oh, I've answered this before. And then you go to your sent folder, your like outbox where you have answered it and you search for the previous time that you answered it and you copy the response that you wrote and then you paste that into a new email and you change their name and maybe you change a couple of details and then you click send, right? Uh, if you're nodding along like, yeah, we've all done that, then that's great because that is more efficient than recreating that email from scratch every time you need to do it. But uh, what I want to underscore and what I want you to, to, to see is that this is a, a, an invaluable opportunity to use automation. Now, you might be thinking, how can I use automation here? when it initiates in my inbox, right? When somebody emails me, how would Infusionsoft know that it's time to send out their email? And so this is one of those um, misnomers or misconceptions about automation is that um, automation doesn't mean automatic. And so when somebody emails you and asks a question that you know is a question you've received previously, um, you can't necessarily automatically trigger the response to them. But what you can do is preload a series of templates in Infusionsoft that have the, the detailed explanation, um, the links and resources that you would normally supply. And then you can create a note template that you manually apply that triggers that email to go out. So uh, from a campaign structure standpoint, the, the initiating goal, the trigger goal would be a note applied goal. And then the sequence afterward would really just have a single email that answers uh, the, the question that you know um, they were asking. So uh, pricing is a common one. If you get a bunch of questions about your pricing, you can compose one email, take the time to, to really, you know, spell it out in a way that is crystal clear, that answers the most common questions around pricing, that explains, you know, here's why it costs what it costs and why it's worth that. And then also, you know, gives them a link to go, you know, finish checking out if they, um, if they're ready for that, or maybe a, another place to book time on your calendar if they have questions, right? So you build that email once, and then all you need to do is create the note template, you know, title it FAQ pricing or, or what have you. And then when you publish the campaign, um, you've got that built, locked and ready to, to go. And so the next time somebody asks about pricing, all you need to do is pull up that contact record in Infusionsoft, apply the corresponding note template. And of course, it triggers off the email that, that you've pre-written. So uh, this is a quick way to do a little bit of work once and then repurpose it time and time again when you know you're going to hear that question. So my rule for people is like, if you hear a question three times, or if you know that it's something that you hear once a month or whatever the cadence is, uh, take the time once to set up like a perfect response, how you would like to respond to it. Uh, if you had the time um, and we're doing it manually, what is it that you would write? 
and then you know repurpose that with uh, with the help of automation each time that question comes up in the future. So uh, once you have done that for your pricing or whatever the most common question you have is, all you need to do is clone or replicate that same structure for any of your other FAQs. And what you'll end up with is a series of note templates that you can apply to automatically deploy uh, that pre-written response. So uh, this is one of those instances where um, I feel like automation can be used to supplement the stuff that we're already doing. This isn't a groundbreaking um, you know, giant uh, thing that's off your plate entirely, but it is a nice small way to systemize what you are probably already doing. Now, um, to take this one step further, or maybe to take it two steps further, uh, you could add additional follow-up in that sequence as well. So uh, beyond the immediate email, you might schedule a delay timer and then a follow-up uh, with some additional resources um, or a case study on that topic or um, or just a, a touch point that says, hey, do you have any questions, right? Um, so you can have that initial email and that's fine if that's all you do. Uh, but if you decide that there's more that could be coupled into to this experience, feel free to build out within that sequence uh, whatever else you might want to have happen at that point. Uh, the second thing you could do to make this campaign that much more flexible is um, is swap. Let me, let me phrase it this way. Uh, you might be thinking, what if I need to edit some piece of that template, right? Like, what if I want to change the introductory sentence? Because you have a generic one, but then if you get a, a question from somebody who you know, you might want to change that intro sentence, okay? So if you want to modify any portion of that template uh, that you set up, uh, you can swap that initial goal. Instead of a note template, you can swap it for an internal form. And the beauty of an internal form is when you fill it out, you can then merge the values that you captured into the, the subsequent email that is triggered. So um, rather than just applying the note template and having the email go out, you would use an internal form that allows you to write a unique intro sentence or a conclusion sentence. And then using merge fields, you could personalize the email to make it uh, feel that much more um, personal. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that is campaign number one, the FAQ campaign, and I think everyone can have or, or benefit from a version of that. The second one is a contact us form. So uh, most websites, my website, your website probably has a contact us form. Of course, you've got all of your products or services. You've got the different information that you offer about your products and all of the all of the native, you know, creative assets and and uh, and valuable you know copy and and content on your website but without fail somebody will stumble onto your website and they'll have a question that either isn't listed there or it is and they just didn't take the time to find it or couldn't easily find it and so they want to ask uh you or, or or ask someone and so a contact us form is a really valuable catch all for people who might otherwise navigate away from your website if they can't easily find what they're looking for, it gives them a, a lever they can pull to just say, hey, if you fit, if you don't fit in the box, you know, jump here and, and ask whatever you like. And the instinct that we as business owners and as marketers have for a contact us form is that the responses to that generally need to be handled, handled manually because somebody needs to read what they wrote. And, you know, automation, as powerful as it is, has a hard time discerning sentiment and figuring out, okay, they asked about this, that, or the other thing, send them these things, right? So there needs to be some, there often needs to be some manual intervention at that point. But what I think a lot of people are overlooking is that um, you can use automation to supplement what happens when somebody um, fills out their contact us form, not to replace what humans need to do, but just to, to cover the, the majority of the use cases, because chances are, if people fill out that contact us form, they're probably asking one of your frequently asked questions. So a lot of times what I recommend for people is to have an automated email that goes out um, the moment somebody submits that form. And it just says, hey, uh, this is an automated email to let you know that we have received your question. And you can even merge the question into the email and say, hey, we got this. This is what you said. And we're going to look into that. And uh, if it merits a response, we will follow up with you directly. But in the meantime, we wanted you to have the answers to some of our most frequently asked questions. And, you know, maybe they're links to blogs or maybe they're links to YouTube videos, but you can use that initial email to cover sort of a majority of cases. This does two things for you. Number one, it acknowledges that things are working. You have received their request and, hey, we're, we're on it. And number two, it gives them some immediate resources that might answer their question or at the very least help them learn more about your brand. So while I acknowledge that you probably want to read their response, and if it's somebody who's, 
you know, they're, they're, they're uh, um, upset with a product that they purchased, you might need to handle that manually. You probably will want to handle that manually. But if you get a, a contact us reply and it happens to be a question that you have uh, already answered in the automated email, then you don't necessarily need to follow up with them other than to say, uh, you probably already got the answer to this, but let me know if there's something else that you need, right? So by using automation here, you buy yourself a little bit of time and you also help your customer or, or prospect get what they need more uh, expediently. Now, the second layer to this campaign where you could take it one step further is by using automation to create a task for whoever is responsible for fielding the inquiries that come through that contact us form. And then, you know, you could have follow up touch points to the, to the owner of that, of that task until they do it. And of course you would use a task completed goal to stop the automation once that task has been marked complete. Now I am a solopreneur, a one man shop, and I still do this for myself, uh, not because I'm, you know, irresponsible or unreliable, but because it takes it off of my mind. I don't have to remember to do it. All I have to do is check my Infusionsoft My Day tasks section. And once I've once I've done it, I just mark it as complete. And if I see a task there that is incomplete, it means that I either haven't done it or that I just forgot to mark it complete. So I use it as an accountability tool um, and I, I find it, you know, an, an easier way to stay organized than to just manually try to manage it out of my inbox. So uh, the first campaign is an FAQ campaign and the second campaign is a contact us form campaign. Like I said, neither of these are particularly groundbreaking, but they can be, you know, valuable uh, little junctures where automation can make things that much smoother for your prospects and customers and that much more scalable for your internal teams and systems. So uh, that is it for this bonus video. Thank you for engaging in the uh, Infusionsoft 101 course. I hope you have found it valuable. Uh, if you are moving on to the IS Starter Kit or to the CB Trilogy, then I will see you in one of those courses. Otherwise, take care and thanks again.